Hi, today's passage is taken from Mark chapter 9, verse 25 to 29. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, Deaf and dumb spirit, I command you come out of him and enter him no more. Then the spirit cried out, convulsed him greatly, and came out of him. And he became as one dead, so that many said, He's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he rose. And when he had come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? And Jesus said to them, This kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. Some versions omit the word fasting. But that, that's not important for right now. All I'm interested in is in the word prayer. Jesus said the only way to cast out and to overcome the evil one here is through prayer. Jesus came down from the mountain where he had a transfiguration where he met with Elijah and Moses. And most likely he's been praying and fasting during that time. He came down. And while he was on that mountain, the disciples were trying to cast out demons and they had discussions with scribes and uh, religious people, but they were not able to cast out this demon. So Jesus came down from the mountain. He just says a few words and he casts it out. And then he says, this one can only come out through prayer. Now my question is, do you have struggles or strongholds in your life? Do you have areas where you say, Man, I need some extra power? Or how am I going to break this? Do you have problems in your family? We see that when you have a relationship with Jesus, when you pray regularly, when you spend time with God, it looks like He empowers us. It gives us strength and power over those strongholds. It's when we learn to pray, become people of prayer, we will see more and more victory in our lives. We will see more and more the kingdom of darkness destroyed. When we learn to pray, nothing is impossible. Jesus said in verse 23 there, same passage, Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. You see, our weapons of our warfare are not carnal. It's not of the world. The weapons of our warfare are spiritual. But God has given us the power through Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus didn't die on a cross so we could have religion. Jesus died on that cross so we could have a relationship with him. If Jesus didn't die on the cross, we couldn't have that relationship because there will be no forgiveness of sins. But now, because of that death, we can have a relationship with Jesus. And because of that relationship, because of our prayer, because we are praying and talking with God, that gives us power to overcome anything, any stronghold, in our life. I hope that this encourages you to build up a relationship with Jesus and to pray more so we may see more and more victory in every Christian's life. God bless you. Thanks for listening.